Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and we got a great tutorial today. We're going to do wedding titles, and I want to start off by saying that with wedding titles, the actual artwork of the graphic is typically more important than the actual animation, because with weddings, you're trying to make something that's memorable, something that's visually pleasing, and you don't want to, you could have nice animation, but if the graphic is not great, you know, I think the entire graphic overall is going to be bad. So make sure the graphic is beautiful. And that's what we'll be focusing on in this video. And of course, you can buy all five of these wedding templates that will work in Adobe Premiere. You can change out the text in Premiere or you can edit them inside of After Effects. You can download them off our website. Link will be in the description of the video. But we're going to go ahead and create this title right here. If I had to do this one, it would probably be about a 30 minute tutorial. But this one we're going to create right here inside of After Effects. So let's go up to new composition. Let's call it tutorial and let's click OK. So we're going to start off with uh, some text real fast. So we'll grab the text tool. We'll type out our text. And the typeface that you're going to use is going to be extremely important. You know, this is a good typeface for weddings, which is Shelby, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use something a little bit different. I think that's Ohms. I hope I don't probably butcher that. And we're going to make this a all caps typeface. And if you have Adobe type kit, which comes with the creative cloud, you can easily go to the, your app at the top and go to assets and go to fonts. And then you can go to sync fonts from type kit and you'll get this very nice uh, pop up here and here in a second. And you can easily search for typefaces that are going to look nice for it. And you can experiment really quick without having to close after effects and you don't have to do any uh, Googling. So that's always nice. I love type kit. Awesome tool for after effects. But what we're going to do is we're going to position our text strategically. So, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit like uh, this. I went ahead and just put that text in there real fast. So the pl placement of the text is extremely important. So we have, you know, our two titles in the same uh, uh, style. And then we have our middle text, which is this end. You can do an ampersand. But just something to think about. The titles are extremely important. They need to be uh, legible. And uh, go ahead and do a little bit of design to it like this. That's kind of cool. We will duplicate this layer by selecting rectangle two, going up to edit, duplicate, go into rectangle three, go into transform three, and let's just rotate this to 35 degrees. And we can just replace this. So we'll just use arrow keys. And that should be good. So now we have our arrow in here. Now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to add, and we're going to add a wiggle paths. And this is kind of mess it around a little bit. We'll go ahead and adjust some of these settings real fast. So, so we'll increase the size by a little bit, but we'll also lower the detail. So it's like detail to one and we'll bring the size maybe to like 15 or so. And we can always, you know, go to this rectangle one real fast and make this a little bit skinnier. And we'll go to the coloration and maybe bring this down to like 20% or so. Okay. So we're looking good. What we'll do is we'll go to add and we'll add a group at the top here and we'll bring all these objects and also the wiggle paths into this group and we'll go into the group one we'll go into the group transform and we'll bring down the scale make it a little bit smaller and we can put it right here and I went ahead and made some quick adjustments to this arrow real fast make it a little bit longer but once you're done with this go up to your group one go up to edit duplicate go into group two go into transform group two and rotate it by 180 degrees Great, and then reposition it. All right, so we're looking to go with this one arrows. And now we'll go up to the uh, ellipse tool up here at the top, and we'll just draw a very small circle. We'll hold down shift, so we'll create a perfect circle. And we can just, you know, reposition this. And we'll duplicate it. We'll bring it to this side. And we'll go back to add, and we'll add a wiggle paths. And make sure to put that outside the contents there. And we'll go to wiggle paths. And we'll bring the size down to like four. Bring the detail down to one. And now we have a little bit of animation there. So they're not perfect circles. So now we'll draw a heart. And bear with me here, guys. I'm not great at drawing things from scratch. So we'll grab the pen tool here. And we'll add a point. And we're going to draw like the top portion of the heart here. And kind of just do your best to draw out like what a heart looks like. And we'll just add a straight point here. And now kind of do a perfect straight angle here and this doesn't look so bad this is a, probably a good start go ahead and just make some adjustments to the points here and you know that's not horrible or anything so this is something we can work with so now we can go into this new shape layer here and we can duplicate the shape one 
and we can come in here, transform it, go to the scale. And what we need to do is break the link for the scale here and set the first X value here to negative 100. And now you have a perfectly transformed heart to the other side and we'll just move it over to where these are connected like that. And actually that might be the best heart I've ever drawn before, like in anything. So I, I get some cool points here, right guys? Tell me, tell me in the comments if this was not a good heart because this is a great heart. I'm very proud of myself right now, very proud. So let's go to add and let's add a group and let's put shape one and two in there and then go to add and let's add wiggle paths and let's go in here, bring down the property. So like we'll do like a size one detail, like three or something. And wow, love that heart. So we'll come here, scale down the heart and put it in the middle. And also went ahead and put another text layer down here and then let's grab the uh, rectangle tool and just draw like a nice little box around everything here. Let's go to fill, click the word fill, turn off the uh, solid color, go to stroke and we'll set this to solid color. And I'll use a pixel count of three and let's go to the align tab, which is over here or go up to window align and we can center this up and that should be good to go. Okay. And then we'll go to the box and we'll go to add and we'll add a wiggle paths. And that seems like to be the theme of this tutorial. We'll bring down the size to like five and the detail to like three or four or whatever. And we have nice little wiggling elements over there. So it looks really nice. Some animation going on here. We have some nice artwork and that heart is just a 10. And <laughs> let's go ahead and start animating this. So we have some arrows, we have heart, we have some text. So we have a little bit to animate here, but no big deal. Let's do the box first. So let's go to the box layer. Let's go to add and let's add a trim paths effect. We'll open this up. We'll set the uh, start to 100%. We'll add a keyframe for start. We'll go forward to maybe, you know, three and a half seconds, set it to 0%. And we'll make both of these keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we have this box uh, stroke animation. Looks great. Let's go with the arrows next since uh, let's do the arrows. And let's go to the contents, go to group one. So we're going to do a very nice animation. We'll just shoot the arrows in here. We'll go to transform. We'll add a uh, keyframe for position. Bring the uh, keyframe forward in time. And we'll have a shoot off from frame uh, right over here. We'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on keyboard. And maybe we'll just move both these keyframes over in time. So, and also we could probably make this like a, like a, almost a half a second animation since an arrow would be going fast anyway. So that's pretty cool. And we can also do the other side as well. So go to, go to group two, go to transform, add a keyframe there, go back a little bit and have this come from frame left, make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe. So now our arrows in, are in here and they look good. So let's do our circles. We'll just do something very simple. We'll go into circles, contents, ellipse one, transform one, and we'll just do like a nice scale uh, animation. I think that's uh, acceptable. We'll set the circles down to 0%, make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe. So now we have that one and we'll go to the ellipse two, do that animation as well. So scale, move it over, 0%, F9 on your keyboard, nice. And now we can do the heart, and for the heart we'll do the same thing as well, but we'll wait after the circles are up. So we'll go to group one, transform group one, add a keyframe for scale, move that forward in time, and set it down to 0%, make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe. And now here's the issue, as you can see the heart's coming up from the top because the anchor point so what we're going to do is grab the pan behind tool at the top here and this little anchor point right here, we're going to bring it down to the center of our heart. So now the animation will happen from the anchor point and that looks nice. So now we've animated all of our elements except for our titles. What we'll do is we'll grab the end text and we'll hit P on the keyboard, add a keyframe, uh, move back in time a little bit and we'll have this come up like this. So now scroll through this, you see we have this, you know, all right, so hit F9 on our keyboard. And obviously we have to get rid of that there. So what we'll do is we'll pre-compose this layer. We can just call it and comp and we'll click okay. And we'll grab the pen tool and we'll create a straight mask like this and just mask out the end here. And what we'll do is we'll hit M on our keyboard for mask and set it to subtract. So now this will come in just like that. Looks nice and we're good to go. All right, and then we're gonna animate our text on and I'm just gonna use an animation preset cause you know, who has time to actually build it from scratch. So go to animation presets, go to text, go to animate in, and we're gonna use the uh, slow fade on uh, preset, which is my favorite. So we'll go 
to right here. We'll do the first uh, name here and we'll grab the slow fade on and put it on top. And now we scrub through here. We'll see that a name slowly fades on and we want this to kind of be done once the end pops down. So we'll move these over by a little bit and we'll make both of these easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So the first text comes on and comes in and then we'll want to add it for our second name. Hit you and your keyboard to bring up the keyframes, make them both easy ease keyframes. And now we have something like this. Now you can always shorten these down a little bit, but I think it's okay for here. And then we'll do the same thing for our date. So once the heart pops up, we'll have our date pop on as well. So we'll do the slow fade on again and we'll make them easy ease keyframes. So now that we're basically done, you can render this out and put it on top of your footage. Make sure to enable motion blur and turn it on at the top. And after a quick render, this is what we should have. Something very similar to this, and I definitely still like that heart a lot. So, you know, tell me a good job in the comments. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to the channel for more After Effects videos just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a good day.